Hi, children. Do you still remember how viruses spread? Viruses can spread in different ways. They are mostly spread through droplets when people cough or sneeze. So, if you are very close to someone with a virus, you may easily catch the virus. It is also possible for you to pass the virus to others. And if this happens, the virus can spread to many people. A person who is infected with the virus may infect others who come in contact with him or her. Some of these people may fall sick. Some of them may meet other people, infect them, and make some of them sick too. These people who are infected with the virus will go on to infect others. This is what we call community spread. Some of them may travel to other countries and infect others. When many people all over the world fall sick with the same virus, we call this a pandemic. If we can isolate these people with the virus at home, they cannot infect others, then the virus cannot spread. Contact tracing is to find out whom these people who may be infected have come in contact with. After contact tracing, we can then isolate these people who may be infected at home so they cannot infect others. How long do you think these people need to be isolated for? Since the COVID-19 incubation period is up to 14 days, these people need to be isolated for 14 days. During this period, they either fall sick and go to the hospital, or they do not get virus and no longer need to be isolated. Now, let's find out how do viruses spread from one place to another? How do we trace the people who are carrying viruses? experiment is to actually find out how we can actually identify people who is infected by the virus. Okay, it's called contact tracing. Here we have a template. So we're going to fill out the people that comes into contact with each other and then we're going to see who gets the virus and who did not get the virus. So the first person was Archie coughed and then you came, you went over to the table and you touch the table. So firstly, it was yeah. Evan. And Evan meet up with Kevin and Sophia. So, but did he touch Kevin? No. No, he touched, he touched Sophia. So Sophia went off to work and met up with Sato and Kay. Sophia said hello to Kay. But what about Sato? Sato shake. Yeah, she shook hands with Sato, and that's how Sato got the virus. We have Evan, Sophia, and Sato. Sato. Okay, so this is how we identify people who get viruses. We use this thing called contact tracing. Shall we now go and wash our hands? Yay! Contact tracing can help to stop the exponential growth of COVID-19. Exponential growth sounds like a really difficult term to understand, doesn't it? How does it relate to COVID-19? To find out, join me in the next lesson. See you!